Hello YouTube, this is Charter Yu-Gi-Oh! playing some more Despia branded Eldritch Pile. Uh, we're going second. This hand isn't fantastic. Opponent leads on Fusion Deployment, reveals Red Eyes Dark Dragoon, Special Summons Dark Magician. A little bit, just a little bit better than the Dark Magic Curtain. Activates Branded Opening, pitches Blue Eyes. Okay, so opponent's playing a spicy deck. Special Summons a Luber, activates a Luber. Searches Branded Fusion, activates Branded Fusion. Dumps, Fallen of Albaz, White Stone, White Stone, Mandatory Chain Link 1, Albion, Chain Link 2. See what they summoned. I'm expecting to get Dragooned here. And if we can bait out the Dragoon Negate with nothing we have in hand right now. But if we can bait out the Dragoon Negate and get our opponent under mine, this deck might not be able to beat that. It's crazy reading Fusion Deployment and remembering that like back in the day, like Dark Magic Curtain was like actually a card that people tried to use. This is just better in every way. All right, so we do get Dragooned. Opponent searches the blue eyes. Sets one. All right, plan is bait out Dragoon, activate Mystic Mine, hope it's enough. We draw Judgment that can protect our mind down the road. Oh, God. Opponent calls spell cards with Eradicator Epidemic opponent's deck is insane. Well, uh, our plan is falling apart. Eradicator tri Tributing Dragoon calls Trap Card, sure, I guess. Activate Scarlet, set Conquistador, pass the turn. Activates the Albion. Well, that was that was absurd. Our opponent had a Dragoon, which is already like not something like most decks are built. Okay, they search. Then search Brand Fusion. They search Theater. Okay. Draw. Stand by main. Oh God, opponent, opponent. Okay, we deserve this for playing the Mystic Mine with Bloodgate nonsense deck that people don't like but this is this is brutal like our opponent's deck is awesome like i'm not mad about losing to it but give us a break activates theater of the branded activates theater See what they summon. They didn't use the branded fusion, which is odd. Summons a masquerade. Masquerade is acceptable. Activates branded fusion. Dumps white stone of legend for an Albion. Effective Albion. Now they are bone summons big enough to get over floor yet. That is our that is our saving grace. Doesn't have a Dark Magician Grave either, so I don't think they can drink it. Weird that they would use Theater before they would use Branded Fusion. It, it doesn't matter, this game is, should be over. We can't draw spells or traps and we're only playing like 10 monsters. Opponent thinking through what they want to fusion summon. Banish a Luber and Blue Eyes. Summons other Masquerade. This is okay. This is okay. 
goes to battle. 25, 25. I guess this isn't okay because we can't even activate anything. 25. Lapon's deck was awesome, but uh, that was that was rough. Game two, how do we? Okay, we're going first. Anti spell seems really good. D barrier seems really good. Super poly could be okay. Maybe cut. What's bad? None of this stuff seems bad. Maybe there can only be one. I was playing a lot of dragons. Maybe Ravelry, that's good, but Zombie World. Hmm. None of these cards are really bad. Maybe Super Poly, keep that for when we're going second. And that there can only be one. Try it like that. See if we can lock our opponent into something bad with Rivalry. Well, we have the Rivalry, we have the Zombie World. Banish six, draw two. Anti spell is good. Set, 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 set. With our luck, opponent's going to have Feather Duster plus Twin Twisters or something to negate the anti spell. But we're going to try this. We're going to shotgun anti spell. Can our opponent beat it? Normal summons a Luber. It's a zombie. Uh, a Luber's fine. Searches theater. Sets a card. Sets a card. Sets a card. Sets a card. Goes to battle. Activate Conquistador. So summon Conquistador in defense. End phase, activate punishment, target, a luber, dump. Titanticlad. During the end phase, activate Titanticlad. Special summon, Ecclesia, activate Ecclesia, search Floor de Lee. We draw a branded fusion. Can't actually activate that because of our anti spell. Go to battle. Attack for 15. Main phase 2. Set branded fusion. Pass the turn. Stand by main. We'd like to wait as long as possible before we activate Rivalry because we want to have a lot of our cards on the board. Opponent sets one, activates the theater. Sure. Can they fusion summon? Only two cards in hand. All right, looks like they can. Blue Eyes and Dramaturge summons Masquerade. Dramaturge triggers. We don't want to do this, but we're going to activate Rivalry, keep Dramaturge off the board. Why can this come back? Opponent should be locked into zombies here. Activates Dragon Shrine. Dumps Blue Eyes. Just Blue Eyes. Oh, this can come back because it's something from the rip. I don't know why. With I'm. Um, Really struggling with my floodgate rulings with this deck. Dramaturge has to attack Ecclesia or it won't die. Okay. Dramaturge attacks Ecclesia. Masquerade chooses not to attack. We're still locked into zombies. 
pass the turn. Opponent draws. Sets one. Active. What's our opponent's deck? I mean, it's working. We can't, uh, we can't criticize them, but... Banishes the Eradicator virus. Sure, I don't think that's going to matter in two turns. I hope that doesn't matter in two turns, I suppose is what I should be saying. We draw Mystic Mine. Do we want to activate Mystic Mine? Probably not with the Eradicator here. Well, pass the turn. One turn on the Eradicator. So the price of our opponent isn't attacking. Their monsters are huge. They can put us down to 29, which is not a lot of life with a Masquerade on the board. All right, so. Set summon limit, pass the turn. Opponent gets the Eradicator. Sets presumably the Eradicator. Sets another card. So they call traps. They get rid of a lot of stuff. They call spells. They get rid of the zombie world. Expect them to call traps. Eradicator. What did they tribute? Is also interesting. Tributes Dramaturge calls traps, which means we get to keep Branded Fusion and White Destiny. Oh god, they have a second one. I feel like we've seen this before, called spells, so we're gonna lose our entire field and most of our hand. Sure. All right. Uh, Omega glitching out. We have cards over the indicator. Activate White Destiny. Why are these here? Opponent chains Ultimate Fusion. Shuffles a bunch of cards back. Summons, Blue Eyes, Tyrant Dragon. We can barely see our own cards. Set Conquistador. Unaffected by trap cards and can attack all monsters once per each. If battle, they can target a trap card in their graveyard, set it. So they can just infinitely loop the Eradicator. This deck is very cool. Might have to see if we can find uh, some kind of deck list for this. Would not mind playing this. Set Necro World. Gotta try to stay alive. During the end phase, activate Conquistador. Set Scarlet. Why are these still here? So this is unaffected. So this doesn't matter. Opponent activates fusion deployment, reveals the Dragoon, special summons Dark Magician, activates the theater. Well, this feels bad because our opponent can attack over everything, but we also can't have our opponent fusion summon a Dragoon. Special, special, Destroy the theater. These are still here. We wish they were still on the board. See what our opponent does. Goes to battle. Attacks. Activates Tyrant Dragon. Resets Eradicator attacks attacks 
attacks for 25. Stand by. Main phase two, end phase. Anti-spell, we lose it immediately. Activate the Scarlet Engrave. Set a Hakuero. Activate Golden Lord, send the Hakuero to Grave. Eldritch cards play through Eradicator pretty well. They do not play through Tyrant Dragon very well. We will indeed special summon a zombie. Activate Fleur de Lee. See what our opponent does. Chains Eradicator. I guess if we're attacking over it anyway, calls traps. We have none of those. Opponent has seen to that. Go to battle. Attack Tyrant Dragon. Opponent takes 100. Activates Tyrant Dragon. Gets back Eradicator again. Activates Aluber. Targets Floor. Negates Floor. Summons back Aluber. Resets Eradicator. Attack. No reason to activate. Run over Aluber. Main phase two, end phase, activate Hakuero, activate Conquistador, set a Scarlet, set a Black Awakening. Playing around the Imperm column, but our opponent might be playing Mech Knights, who knows? Draw, opponent draws, activates Branded Opening, why not? Pitches Jet Dragon. Jet Dragon's actually a really good card. Summons a Luber. Effect of a Luber. Thinking we are once again in danger. Searches Branded Fusion. Goes to the main phase. Activates Branded Fusion. Um, Ball in the Valve has Whitestone, activates Whitestone, mandatory Chainlink 1, Albion Chainlink 2. Eradicator on 3, tribute the Albion. So they declare the type as cost, they declare spells. So we lose Black Awakening, but we weren't doing anything with that on our opponent's turn anyway. Albion resolves. Banish. Summons Dragoon. And now I think we're dead. I've been saying that a lot, but now I think we're really dead. Activates Fusion Deployment. Reveals Alba Lenatus, summons Fallen of Albaz, activates Fallen of Albaz, discards Blue Eyes, see what they summon. Opponent's deck has been pretty cool, so we'll let them play it out. Fuses away Golden Lord, summons Titanticlad. Titanticlad is huge. Opponent activates Dragoon. And GG opponent. Well, opponent's deck was awesome. That was a brutal, brutal loss. Didn't play that super clean either, but GG. Deck was cool.